CD Projekt Red just released the new update for Witcher 3 version 4.02, which aims to fix performance and other issues on both next-gen consoles and PC. So let's give it a try. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here I am testing Witcher 3 again. As you can see, I've got that latest update uh, available and installed version 4.02. So uh, without any further ado, let's give it a try. Obviously, I'm checking this game on Xbox Series X and I did play that game a little bit after uh, I installed that patch and I can tell you straight away that the performance, at least in performance mode, is actually better. It's not perfect by any means, but it's actually better. Okay, so first off, this is Novigrad and this is this infamous um, square where I usually would be losing a lot of frames over here, right? No matter what um, part of the day and whatever, right? And as you can see, so far so good. I would say that it's actually pretty much locked 60 frames per second. Okay, now uh, this is not really locked and I well, maybe not necessarily right now, but even uh, like before I started recording this video, I was getting some frame drops here and there and some stutters here and there, but you really have to uh, try hard to make that game lose frame right now. So that's very good because over here, uh, before that patch, you know, this game was actually losing quite a lot of frames. Uh, also, uh, this is not the only uh, place where uh, you would get frame drops before, before that patch. And uh, there's other places here in this game as well. And uh, but generally speaking, like this game is much better now when it comes to performance, right? Um, as you can see, so far so good, like nothing major, like I don't necessarily see any frame drops nice and smooth like yeah okay maybe there was a little bit of a stutter there uh, again but these must be very very small frame drops right and like i said i really have to really like pay attention to camera movement over here to actually notice anything and i'm sure that digital foundry will provide us with a very detailed video on that uh, but you know great news guys looks like performance mode on xbox series x uh, in witcher 3 has been finally fixed so i would say that what i what what we getting now with uh, in witcher 3 on xbox series x is in terms of performance is the type of performance uh, we were getting before that whole next gen upgrade right and uh, it was very smooth and, and nice so yeah listen like you know it's it's really looking good um can i switch i i don't remember if i can actually switch graphics uh performance let's switch it to ray tracing yeah okay let's give ray tracing a try so obviously it's 30 frames per second but the question is is that locked 30 or are we getting frame drops now even before that patch so the previous patch 4.1 uh, was actually delivering uh, pretty much stable 30 frames per second in ray tracing mode and from what I can see here, that's what we are getting too. I don't really see any major frame issues. I mean, 
<laughs> Obviously, if you consider 30 frames per second a good frame rate, right? I mean, if you can, if you're fine with playing that game in uh, 30 frames per second, then yeah, go ahead and do it. Like on on seat on consoles, because on PC, that's another story, right? You can actually push like 1440p uh, with ray tracing at 60 frames per second, no problem. Even on not the most powerful PC, but as you can see. Uh, it's very stable 30. Uh, I don't really see any issues here. Let's switch back. Uh, wrong button, sorry. Let's let's switch back to performance mode again. Uh, yeah, display graphics. Let's see how the performance is like over here. Yeah, you can see the difference straight, straight away. It's like nice and smooth. Like this is the thing, right? After playing uh, games at 60 minimum, I mean, you know, getting used to 30 again is just like really a bad idea. That's what I can tell you for sure. Yeah, listen, you know, uh, nice and smooth 60. By the way, um, I can't really compare it, but I uh, I did read um, the update notes and they did say that they also, apparently they improved water reflections. And you know what? They actually look pretty good. Um, They really do. Like, water actually looks really, really good. Um, I can't really say if that's much better than it was before, but that looks good. Damn it. You know what? Um, let's find the... You know, it's actually interesting that after all these years this game still looks like that um i mean like it looks just great basically right right what i'm trying to say here is that um yeah let's try this place here uh, i was I, I remember i was getting some frame drops here before <clears throat> And um, so far, so good. Lots of an oh, okay, th there's a little bit of stutter here. Not sure if you noticed. Maybe it's still loading stuff, but um, yeah, camera movement is very smooth. Um, so yeah. I'm so glad that they actually fixed performance mode because yeah ray tracing mode is cool it looks a little bit better than performance mode but I don't think uh, it's not worth it like it's not worth the performance sacrifice so yeah guys you know what can I say well looks like we are getting really stable 60 frames per second in performance mode and very stable 30 frames per second in ray tracing mode but uh let's actually check that ray, ray tracing mode again over here and uh yeah so obviously that's 30 <laughs> but um i don't necessarily notice any any issues and ray tracing mode was actually very stable even before that patch even before patch uh, 4.02 so yeah looks like they just but you never know because <laughs> uh the previous patch actually fixed the the um the ray, tra ray tracing mode by but a broken performance mode now that patch seems uh, seems to deliver both stable 
performance and ray tracing mode which is great news for everyone i guess because no matter which no matter no matter which mode you will you will you will go with uh, you will get a good experience by the way obviously if you if you plan if you are planning if you're planning to play in ray tracing mode just en enable motion blur i've got that disabled because i play in 16 performance mode and it's nice and smooth all right guys listen so uh yeah that's it i i can't complain like yeah there's some stutters here and there some frame drops here and there in novigrad uh but like there's just like you won't even feel a different you won't even really notice that much uh, during gameplay really and uh yeah game looks good uh, plays great performance is finally fixed as at least on xbox city sex can't say for other versions so yeah very good news guys uh, listen so that's the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it um hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one take care